Question number four is solving logarithmic equation. Pray that you will get questions like this because this is one of the chapter where you can score easily in P2. There are a few steps involved if you want to solve this uh, equation. The step number one, you have to collect all the logarithmic functions to one side of the equation and numbers push it to the other side. So you will have log 32 minus 12x equals log 1 minus x 2 sorry, minus 2 log 1 minus x equals 3. Put this term here. On step 2, applying laws of logarithms, you have to combine the logarithms into a single logarithm. That's your step 2. How I'm going to do that? Put this number as a power first using third laws of logarithm. So we'll have log 32 minus 12x minus log 1 minus x whole square equals 3. You see, before you start solving, you need to make sure you have the same base here. Mostly, you'll be given the same base. If the bases are not same, you must know how to change the base actually. In this case, you don't need to worry about it because we have same base. Now you have log a minus log b, write it as log a over b equals 3. So that's the step number 2. Step number 1, collect all logarithms to one side. Step 2, combine it to a single logarithm. Step 3, rewrite this using powers. How do we do that? Write the base to the power, the number on the other side equals this 1 minus x whole square 3 cube is 27 bring this here so you'll have 27 times expand it a square minus 2ab plus b square equals 32 minus 12x I say put this term here now open the bracket bring it here and try to frame a quadratic equation and solve it. We will get 27x square minus 54 minus 54x bring the 12 here plus 12 minus 54 plus 12 is minus 42x and then you have 27 minus 32 is minus 5 equals 0. Now solve for x you get 2 x values. We got 5 over 3 and negative 1 over 9. So for any equation involving logarithmic functions these are the steps you need to follow. Step 1 collect the logarithms to one side Step 2, combine it to a single logarithm using laws of logarithms. Step 3, rewrite using power. And step 4, try to frame a linear or quadratic equation and solve it. Now, the most common mistake here, once you get the x values, you cannot just leave it like that, thinking that both are solution. That's wrong. You are going to lose more. You will always get one or two x values here. But we need to make sure we need to find the right solution. Either one of this solution or maybe both. We don't know. We need to make sure they are the right solution by plugging in these values back into the original equation. Okay. You need to take this value one by one. Plug in it back to the given equation. When you plug in this value here or here, if any one of the logarithm turns out to be a negative one, this is not a solution because logarithm cannot be negative. When you substitute 5 over 3, I'm going to substitute here. 1 minus 5 over 3 is 3 minus 1. Negative 2 over 3. Log cannot be negative. So apparently, this is not a solution. Now substitute the second one. When you substitute here, 32 plus 12 times 9, a positive number. 1 minus of this number, so 1 plus, both are positive, so this is a solution. You can just put a cross here and tick here, you will be given full mark. 
But if you don't do anything, just put two values, you are going to lose one mark here. So for every question involving logarithmic function, once you got the x values, you have to plug it in back to the original equation to find the right solution. So in this case, x equals, therefore, x equals negative 1 over 9. That's the solution.